time consuming and could find them accidentally breaking the law. New EU regulations mean that from January, the tax is paid in the EU country where the customer is, instead of where the business is. Now that's going to force thousands of small digital and online companies into the VA system, VAT system here. Our business correspondent, Alistair Fee, explains. If you click on that green button, insert into post. The internet has opened up a wealth of business opportunities. Alice, a keen blogger, teaches people from home. Her clients can be anywhere in the world. She's not VAT registered and wants to keep it that way. It's not practical for me to be VAT registered. It's actually even more of an expense for me to be VAT registered. I would have to um, pay an accountant even to do a zero VAT return. And I would have to um, obviously increase my prices to include the VAT which my customers would not want. So what's changing? Well, in future, when Alice sells a digital product in France, she'll have to charge that country's VAT. She'll have to register for VAT for the first time and file a return within 20 days. Well, digital businesses that were trading in the UK had to register when the turnover went more than 81,000. Now, if they're trading with Europe, they have to register, regardless of the size of their turnover. And what's the impact on that business? A lot of bureaucracy, a lot of work, and a lot of mistakes. Follow through and do a short scan. Thousands of different people will be caught up in the changes. Jill is a physiotherapist who specialises in rehabilitation. She makes audio recordings that buyers can download. It's making big shifts. It's meaning that I'm getting stressed. There's so much red tape. I've got to fill in forms. I've got to get my accountant involved. It's going to cost me more money. Um, and it's just not something that I ever dreamed would happen. The new law will affect people in broadcasting, telecoms and online services. It was brought in to stop billions of pounds being lost by big multinational companies locating themselves in low-tax countries. But in doing so, it's created a divide between those who can afford the new legislation and the smaller businesses who can't. Alistair Fee, BBC South Today.